With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us try to solve the given problem. So the given problem simply states a uniform rope of linear mass density lambda and the length small l is coiled on a smooth horizontal surface. So you can see a rope here. It is coiled on a smooth horizontal surface. One end is pulled up by a constant velocity v, right? So you can see a hand here and it is pulling this rope with the constant velocity v in the upward direction. Then the power applied by the external agent in pulling the entire rope just off the ground is. Now, how do we calculate the power exerted by this person? Now, you know that this rope is being pulled with the constant velocity v meter per second in this direction. So, how do you calculate the average power? So, the formula for average power will be simply total work done in pulling up the rope just above the surface of ground divided by the time in pulling the rope. Now, how do you calculate the total work done? That is the main concept here. So, let us see. We will use this formula, but let us try to understand how you will calculate the total work done WT. Now WT will be simply equals to the work done by external agent plus work required to give its kinetic energy. Let us try to understand this thing first. Since you can see that this rope has linear mass density equals to lambda that is mass per unit length lambda that is it has some mass. Let us suppose that we are taking in some elemental mass let us say that we are taking some elemental mass dm right this has length dx so you can see that this dm mass will be simply nothing but lambda times dx or if you take this length to be x so this will be simply lambda into x so we are taking this length to be dx so this is lambda times dx now you can see that you have to raise this mass from ground to some height right so what is the work done work done by the external agent will be simply equals to external work into the displacement plus how do we calculate the work done since you are also giving some velocity to this ma mass which is v meter per second right so according to work energy theorem you will have to do some work here so this will be simply equals to half if we take total mass of the rope as capital M into V square, so this will be the total kinetic energy of the rope and this will be equals to the work done in giving this rope this much kinetic energy. Now, what is F external? What is the force that you will have to apply? You will have to apply a force just equals to the weight, right? So, what? how do we write the weight? Weight is simply mass times G into the displacement here is simply X. Now, in place of mass since we are taking the elemental mass so in place of mass what we can do is we can find uh, we can put the value dm is simply nothing but lambda dx right here we are taking for the elemental mass so we need to write dm so we can write lambda into g this will be x into dx now you can take this to be dw is external right a small work done so if you want to find out the total work so you will have to integrate this equation so let us now try to integrate this equation this will give you w external that is the work done in raising this rope is equals to this lambda and g are constant so they will come out of integration and we can integrate this this will be integrated from 0 to l so if you integrate it from 0 to l what you are going to get is simply x square divided by 2 and we have to take the limit from 0 to small l. So this will be nothing but lambda g l square divided by 2. So this is the work done to raise this rope, right? Now let us put the value in total work done. So you can see that if you put this value in total work done, this will be simply half into lambda g l square this is external work plus now how do you write this we can write this as equals to 
how do you write the total mass of this rope so the total mass is simply nothing but linear mass density e divided by the length into v square so this is let this be equation number 1 now we know the total work done so we can calculate the power that is the average power so average power will be simply nothing but total work done which is we can take the half common this will be lambda g into l square plus lambda l into v square whole divided by the time right let me write whole divided by the time now this time will be equals to the time for raising the rope right so how can you calculate the value of t here now to calculate the value of t we can use this concept that the speed of rope is constant and the total length is simply l whole divided by t right because we have to find the average power when the rope is just lifted from the ground so in that case the total distance covered will be l divided by t so if you write t equals to l divided by v in here then you can now let us put the values here so this will be half into lambda g l square plus lambda l into v square whole divided by now you can put the value of t as l divided by v so you can see that v will simply go up uh, upwards and you can cancel this out you can take l common so this will be in brackets right so you can see that the average power will be nothing but this will be half into lambda g into v plus this will be half into lambda v q this will be the average power right if you match the options this will be simply nothing but this there will be an l here also right there will be an l here because this was a square so half lambda g v l plus half lambda v q so if you see from the options this is the correct option so i hope you have understood the entire explanation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today